The war against doping has, in the last five years, got Kenyans talking. From the echelons of power to the sports ministry, reasonable efforts have been directed against the fight. Equally, the anti-doping agency of Kenya has been hard at work through sensitization seminar targeting athletes. However, in an ironic twist, even as the country ups the fight, more cases continue to be recorded, raising questions as to whether the measures put in place and strategies are counterproductive. In the last five years, for example, over 70 Kenyan athletes, mainly distance runners, have been slapped with either bans or suspensions, tarnishing Kenya's image in the sport and threatening to erode the gains painfully made. Just this week, Kenyan marathoner Michael Njenga Kinyuga was slapped with an eight-year ban for doping offenses. The Athletics Integrity Unit said last Friday, his sanction coming in the wake of that of Titus Ekiru, the sixth fastest man in history in the marathon, who also suffered the ignominy of a 10-year ban. While doping is a crime that we must all cringe upon, the authorities need to embrace and start thinking of introducing anti-doping in our school curriculum. Time is ripe for the country to collectively embrace the fight, declare doping a national disaster, and collectively we should propose ways through which the menace must be tamed. A conference through which stakeholders come together to reflect and ask pertinent questions is long overdue. Equally, awareness campaign must be upped and ADAC should partner with relevant bodies such as media in this fight while budgetary allocation should be scaled up. However, even as we rack up the fight, it must not be lost on us that those who fall prey either due to ignorance, misguidance by their handlers, and at times, the desire to win dirty are our sons and daughters. They are, our, they are sons of our land, daughters of the soil. We must extend and walk them back to the path of victory like many careers, they've picked athletics to help kick poverty out of their lives and have a meaningful shot while at it. And when they succeed, we collectively take the honor and glory that comes with it. The 100 meter sensation, Ferdinand Manyala, Kenya and Africa's fastest man, is a living testimony. That is my shot of the week.